as we get things underway, we hope it is not a quiet, sleepy Sunday, but one with a lot of energy. It's a great turnout and a great atmosphere as the Boilermakers win the tip. So loud in here that it really does get inside players' heads, but nice job staying cool. Ellis, mid-range jumper, bounces around and finally decides it wants to fall. Jump shots and sometimes you're taking them maybe the better option. Jackson drives the line, fires it out to Ernest. The points leader gets that one to fall somehow. I'm not sure how it looked like it put it in reverse and came backwards. Yes, it looked, it looked like a very interesting shot that she was able to take, but either way, doesn't really matter what it looked like as long as it made it in, and now the Beacons have the lead. Ernest the Stephen points. Wisconsin native has it here, and she shoots, and that falls. She starts to heat up here. Breeze as Nathan tries to turn the volume up, not able to do so. Good pressure there by the Aussie. And Ennis gets that one to fall. It is Jones that wins that battle. She holds the ball here. That's coming inside. They have not hit one three. Well, this takes it to the bucket. A nice job. And just like that, you know, they're understanding. A better job by the Beacons under the bucket. Brown makes Ellis just fall over there. And in Toronto, the open look and gets that one to fall. So, really, the Boilermakers, whether they're not setting themselves on these threes or are just still trying to wake up on this Sunday, not able to get it going. Not the same, though, to be said for Brown, who gets. To making her a very, very dangerous player. Well, let's thought about it. Jones thinks about it and she puts it down. The first three of the night from Purdue. Suddenly back up to a more comfortable six point lead. Sims looks to answer and answers well. Nice job getting that three to four. So both sides starting to get settled. And now takes it down the court. Layden fires that. And that one does go down. They're seeing more success. And you know, on paper, again, Purdue is seeing more success, but Valparaiso is just capitalizing a little bit more to stay in this game. Jones there, Terry. Out to Jones again. She's gonna take a three. And she's going to send it down with ease. And the freshman playing like a true leader now with 15 points. Ray Redman to Ernest. Just needs a bit of support. Finding it more, though, so that's better from Valparaiso. Much better indeed as Brown gets that one to fall. And you can see the five freshmen who were on the court last time we were here in Mackey Arena um, just to get some more minutes and try and get them quickly prepared for Big Ten play soon. Well, Sims was open initially. You know, Ernest being the player that she is, is easily able to intercept that and then capitalize it right after. Well, I think if Valparaiso can just get this lead to under 10, five minutes to go, finally Ellis is able to get one going to clean it up. A bit more speed now on the offense. I think it's what they need. You know, we're seeing Valparaiso in the second half at least trying to make some of those shots like that. I think both teams now. Just need a you know, good chance to get maybe some of those younger players in. Great job by Leyden and the Boilermakers. Great defensive effort again by the Boilermakers. They're just happy to keep playing with that same intensity as well. Jada Smith into Mary Ashley Stevenson and into the score column she goes. To be productive there offensively as well. Yes, and we are on a Stevenson um, double double watch right now. She currently has 14 points and nine rebounds. Those players are having on you know what they can pass down, what it takes to you know win a championship. Well, especially bringing that trophy out here inside Mackey Arena and putting it out for a place to see. You know? And now that Valparaiso has hit 51, it will still be another game until Purdue is able to keep a team scoring 50 points or less. Monta puts that one up, puts it down. What a great shot there. You talk about that finish. Right now, we're finishing strong with the freshman class, getting some great experience before Big Ten play. And that's a nice answer there by Interante. You know, and uh, especially when a Purdue team is firing, which the Boilermakers have been in the second part of this game, as a beautiful three comes in from Swanson. Right now, Purdue is undefeated so far this year in their home turf, and that's just protecting Mackey. And with the final shot of the game, Swanson gets things signed, sealed, delivered. The Boilermakers win it 83 to 56. Valparaiso.